Hi, welcome to SPR EduTech. Today we're gonna see the daily current affairs news of the day. For regular updates and for regular PDF, kindly like, share, and subscribe, and also visit the Telegram channel link that is provided in the description, so you will get the link and PDFs for the daily current affairs. World Day for International Justice is observed on 17th July. World Emoji Day is observed on 17th of July every year since 2014. PB Sindhu, double Olympic medalist, has won the Singapore Open Super 500 trophy after defeating Wang Chi Yi of China, gripping women single final. Metal and oil gas producer Vedanta has partnered with the Detect Technologies and IIT Madras incubated startup of implementing safety incidents detection on a deploying T-Pulse HSSC monitoring system based on the artificial intelligence across the business units. The National Highway Authority of India and Maharashtra Metro has achieved a world record of constructing the longest double-decker viaduct with an length of 14 kilometers in Nagpur. India's first inoculated blood group, EMM negative, has been detected in a 65 years old man, Gujarat. EMM negative blood group is the world's rarest blood group. Hindustan Aeronautical Limited, Safran helicopter engines have been signed an agreement to create a new joint venture intended to develop helicopter engines. IIT Kanpur has announced that it will begin 2.5 million initiative dollars to deploy over 1400 sensors in rural areas in Uttarakhand and Bihar. Japan capital city Tokyo will host the World Athletic Championship in 2025. Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singh has won as the acting president of the Sri Lanka. Harman, Harman Preet Kaur has been named as the captain of Indian women's cricket team for the upcoming Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, UK. Novak Djokovic has won the 7th Wimbledon title of 21st Grand Slam crown on 10th July with a four-set triumph over Nick Kriegos. India's D. Gukesh has won the G. John Chess Masters with 8 points over 9 rounds. Thank you. Thanks for the day. For more updates, kindly stay tuned.